Hello there boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm the Obscure Angel PT. For today what I have here is a Dirty Bomb, this game was available for a lot of time but it seems that that changed a little lately and it seems to still on beta, weird. So this game was developed by the Splash Damage, Splash Damage, okay? And it's using Android Engine 3. So I came up with uh, an idea of making this video because a user had requested, it is called uh, well, I can't spell this properly, so I'm sorry, man. It's Mayo Patol. He, he requested this some days ago. And so, uh, I found out that the best settings to play this game is uh, with the maximum settings, because we can actually uh, play it with these settings with no problems at all above the 60 FPS's with 1080p and 1440p you can actually play the game with an average of uh, around 60 but sometimes the game drops to 45 46 and 50s so 1080p perfect 60 fps with no drops whatsoever but obviously this test will be run with the frame rate unlocked but as you can see this is pretty much all maxed out it is this thing that, that is called treat uh, thread sync which says that uh, reduce the frame rate to um, to provide uh, a better input latency, in my opinion, the input latency is already too damn good. And for this video, I will be trying to find, uh, well, a match on the same map that I used to try out, which is the train yard. It is, uh, from my experience with the other maps that I tried, it was the most demanding one, and so I decided to benchmark the game on a train yard. So my belief is that if you run well the game on this map, you will run even better the other maps. I didn't try it all, but the, from the ones I tried, this one was, without a doubt, probably the best map to go for, okay? So, it's pretty much that simple, 1080p above 60, 1440p, uh, well, between the 50, 45, and the 60, and sometimes the 70. So, I guess, no problem at all to run the game. So, I'm going to leave you here with a full match. If you want to check the results without recording of the frame rate, it's on the description of the video, or for a more detailed discussion about the performance, you just need to wait until the end of the video, or skip there uh, by using the timestamps on the description. Any doubts or requests, just leave on the comment section of the video, I will be gladly, uh, I will re gladly reply to you. So, think a lot, and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Don't let them defuse it. I'm a back drop.
They defuse the blocker carriage C4. Plant again. Blocker carriage C4 defuse. Plot another one. C4 planted in the blocker carriage. Don't let them defuse it. to the shopper. We have the first detonator. Moving the first detonator. First detonator is delivered. Now deliver the second one. Moving the second day, mate, huh?
second detonator on the move. Second detonator on the move. Moving the second down, are you? Detonator's not stolen, then. Hello, boys and girls, welcome to the performance section of the video. So, like I told you, the game runs easily above 60 FPS on 1080p, and in fact, the lowest frame rate was the, the, the root of the, those minimum frame rates, the 60 and the 64, was caused by the CPU. So, yes, in 1080p maximum settings, there is a little bit of bottleneck, so the GPU sometimes range from 85% to 99%, so the CPU was kind of bottlenecking a little bit the performance, but for me, it's fine, it was above of the 60 while on in 1440p uh, the performance the average was uh, close to 60 do not say even 60 and minimums around the 45 49 and uh, in this case there was no bottleneck it was the GPU usage giving its maximum to try to give as maximum frame rate that it could but what I want to say is that if you want to target 112 FPS's for example, probably it's not going to be an easy task because of the Fanon 2. Although if you have a much better CPU, it might cut it. And obviously, our graphic card can't handle 112 frames in this game too. Uh, it can be possible if you reduce the settings, okay? But not with the Fanon 2. You really need to get another CPU uh, and drop the settings to get to 112 FPS. So this is, as you can see, the consistency. 0% of frames was below the... 60 FPS is on 1080p, like I told you, and the game, like I should recommend you, I should recommend you the maximum settings, 1080p, the VRAM usage was around 800 megabytes, the RAM usage was around 4.5, so I should recommend you to have at least 6, but I'm pretty sure that 4 gigabytes is enough for this game. CPU usage was between the 60 and 100%, so yeah, especially at the very beginning, sometimes the CPU is on 100%, and GPU usage was overing between the 85 to 99 percent, showing that there is a little bit of bottleneck going on, but nothing too serious, especially because we are above the 60 FPS's. So guys, that's all that I want to talk about Dirty Bomb. I showed you a little bit of gameplay, hope you did enjoy that. I'm not very good with the game, although... Um, so if you want to support the channel, there are some links on the description, that thing would help me a lot, many people continue to request a lot of the player and non battlegrounds and I still don't have a way, I didn't find a way to, to buy the game, so if you want to help me um, releasing a video about that game, please do help out the channel a little bit, because I really need it, okay? So, thank you a lot for watching, and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye.